the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, which is a single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-row fighters is undergoing final development and testing by the United States. The fighter aircraft will be in service till 2050. The Pentagon began the F-35 program in 2001 with an aim to develop a cost-effective replacement for the U.S. military's F-15 fighters, F-16 and F-18 bombers and reconnaissance aircraft, and eight close air support warplanes. Apart from United States, the primary customer and financial backer, the United Kingdom, Italy, the Netherlands, Canada, Turkey, Australia, Norway and Denmark are also part of the program. The nine major partner nations, including the U.S., plan to acquire over 3,100 F-35 through 2035, which, if delivered will make the F-35 one of the most numerous jet fighters. Specifications are as follows. The S-400 Triumph is an anti-aircraft weapon system developed by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau, in the 1990s as an upgrade of the S-300 family. It has been in service with the Russian Armed Forces since 2007. It is designed to defend against aircrafts including fifth-generation stealth fighters, bombers, AWACS, cruise missiles and ballistic missile. It is considered one of the most powerful anti-aircraft defense system in the world. Specifications are as follows. In this video, we will analyze the outcome when F-35 is pitted against S-400. In a standalone combat environment, F-35 has the following options to defeat S-400. Outrun missiles. Employ evasive maneuver. Use stealth to avoid detection. Use EW suit to jam S-400. We will analyze each of these options one by one. In past, we have seen this tactic being applied successfully when in April 1986, SR-71 Blackbird outran SA-2 SAM over Libya. But in case of F-35, this tactic will be useless. It has a top speed of only 1.6 Mach, and missiles deployed by S-400 have hypersonic speeds, ranging from 6 to 14 Mach. For example, 48H6E3 missile has a speed of 14 Mach. F-35 is not designed to be a great dogfighter, and lacks agility when compared to fighters like F-22 or Su-35. The need for the small F-35 to carry a heavy range of internal engine, fuel and weapons has resulted in what aviation experts labels as high wing loading. Essentially, the wings are small in relation to its weight and this impedes maneuverability. F-35 also has a sluggish rate of climb when compared to modern fighters. The F-35 has also not demonstrated the ability to pull off 9G turns though design and contract specifications call for 9Gs. Till now tests showed the pilot could pull no more than 6.5Gs in hard defensive turns. The missile deployed by S-400 are not only guided by the system, but also have homing capabilities. For example, 40N6 has active radar homing and 48N6DM has semi-active radar homing head. These missiles are very agile, and F-35 will find it very hard to outmaneuver these missiles. The ability to twist, turn and accelerate is a desperate, but vital, last-moment component of countermeasures to modern missiles, and F-35 falls short on that count. The F-35's simplified airframe is far less of the stealth shape found in the F-22. This implies a much greater reliance on radar-absorbing materials. Against expand radars, it is only stealthy or low observable from front and rear. Against S-band radar, it is stealthy from narrow front aspect. Against L-band radar, only limited reduction is achieved from direct front. S-400 have multiple radars which operate in different bands. Apart from traditional radars, S-400 has radars that are capable of detecting stealthy aircraft. The full list of radars are as follows. The Nebo SVU and Nebo M have a claimed capability against stealth aircrafts. All three variants of the F-35 carry active electronically scanned array, or ASA radars, with sophisticated electronic attack capabilities. 
This include false targets, network attack, advanced jamming and algorithm hacked data streams. This system should allow the F-35 to reach well-defended targets and suppress enemy radars that threaten the F-35. But S-400 has many features specifically designed to overcome AW countermeasures such as a larger, more powerful radar that is more resistant to jamming. The main radar is a pulse-to-pulse -pulse agile frequency hopper, to maximize countermeasures resistance. The S-400 also has Topaz Kalchuga M. KRTP-91 Tamara, Trash Can, and 85V6 Orion, via emitter locating systems. The aim being to engage emitting targets without emitting from the acquisition radars, or if the acquisition radars have been jammed. The US Navy is not entirely comfortable with the EW capabilities of F-35. So much so that in March it was revealed the US Navy included another 22 EA-18G Growlers on its unfunded priorities list for the 2015 fiscal year budget, costing $2.14 billion. Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Jonathan Greenert said that, he saw a growing need for the Growler aircraft. As per our analysis, F-35 will find it difficult to operate in areas protected by S-400. This means that not only US but the partner nations will find it hard to gain air supremacy, which is vital in modern conflicts. S-400 will have to be accepted as a game-changer, and will act as frontline anti-access and area denial system in future conflicts. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button, if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, it will help us improve. S-400 Triumph entered service in 2007, and many experts consider it the best hair defense system.